Welcome back to Do It At A Dime with Catherine. You guys were so specific with what you wanted to see next. How to organize mail, paper clutter, bills, and do it in a way that is actually manageable. So this is the magic secret to getting on top of your paperwork. You will need 24 hanging files labeled January through December for the odd year and January through December for an even year. You also need a desk file organizer and three folders. I would just like to point out that it's like 30 degrees and we're outside with no shoes on. What's wrong? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cold. Get your mail from the mailbox. And my first tip is to sort your mail by the recycle bin. It's going to eliminate half your work right off the bat. How many times does so much junk mail end up on your countertops because you just haven't had a chance to recycle it? Less work, more success. We always got a lot of random stuff on our island, but paper clutter ain't one. Being organized means you know exactly what to do with something and all of the remaining mail is going to have an action. Using your three folders and your desk file holder, label one of them to file, label one of them action, and label one of them tax and reference documents. Using that mail, you're going to designate where it needs to go. You either need to file something in your long-term storage, you either need to do something with it right now, here's where your bills are gonna go and all of those things you're going to take care of, or it's an important tax document that you have to file with your tax things. And then designate a day during the week when you can take care of those things. File those things and make sure you sit down and pay all of your bills. Now here's where most people make the mistake of organizing their file system by items instead of by month. If you have a different folder for your car payments, for your house stuff, for each credit card, it's gonna make it so obnoxious to stay on top of because you just keep shoving things in the folder, it fills up and you never can find the time to empty it. Instead, start organizing all of those things that don't need forever storage, but some storage by month. So if you need to access it, you go back to the month that it happened. To give an overview, we do have permanent files, which are here in red, and these we do not shred. But the monthly files, which are for mostly receipts and some bills, although we mostly pay our bills online, you don't need to keep these for more than a couple years, so this monthly system works super, super well. Since it's the end of the year, I'm gonna take all of those folders and move them into a temporary storage and bring out our folders from the even year. Now I'm gonna take out existing January's documents. Remember, those are from two years ago, so I can safely shred them. And I'm gonna start filing all of those new documents into January's folder. It's super easy to find, but I know it's not gonna sit in my storage forever. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I love getting organized, making it easy, and doing it on a budget. I love you guys, and I'll catch you soon. Bye. <laughs> Poor Charlie, I gotta make him tidy his desk for YouTube. Uh, yeah, it's not always like this. Just at lunch. <laughs>